What's up, everybody? This is Carrick with ACG. As I was reviewing Assassin's Creed Origins and later when I was deciding to do a walk in the walk, I noticed a lot of various little world building elements, and here are 12 that actually impressed me in no particular order. The first is, of course, the sandstorms. Not only do they take two to three minutes to actually get to you, you can outrun them, and you will actually see animals outrunning them as well if they have that ability. Next up, and that would, of course, be men pissing off the sides of boats because, you know what, everybody's got to relieve themselves at some point. So when you're out in the middle of a giant river like this, you just start peeing off the side. Yes, that is actually not water coming off the side of the boat. That is a dude with the biggest bladder known to man. Continue. Still peeing. And next up is sleep darts. Now, sleep darts are usually used against one character, but if you throw them into fires, they can be used against everybody, unfortunately, including yourself. So make sure you are not near the campfire like I just was. Next up is one of my favorites, which is the mummy costume. When you get the mummy costume, one of the things you'll notice almost right away is that if you look closely, you will see sand continually coming out of him to really give you that idea that this isn't just a skin. You actually are a mummy. Additionally, his feet, somebody needs a mani-pedi really bad or some water to rehydrate. Look at those things. Damn. Next up, since Beavis and Butthead originally started, everybody's liked fire. Actually, it's pretty much probably cavemen. If you light hay on fire in the back of one of these vehicles, you will actually see villagers run to it and try to put it out with sand. And it works for the most part. And next up is the bird and the horse combo. Now, this is more of a quality of life situation that goes on within Origins, but it allows you to actually ride the horse and use the bird at the same time so that you can scout ahead, which is great in areas where they're above your level so you can scout out for enemies before running into them, especially because they can one-shot you. Now, this next one's just a little bit of really cool detail that I loved, and that's the fact that if you look closely at this guy's helmet, you can actually see where they removed the eyes and where they put reinforcements and a design, because of course back then, if you do remove the eyes, you don't have anything there. You have a higher chance of something tearing. You can actually see where the tiny little connections are there, and there's actually a gap because it is an oval. That's awesome. Next up. Now this one cracks me up because we all know medieval surgery probably sucked, but they really did a number on the detail here where you actually see the person lean in and grab something from within this cadaver and actually put it in the Kenobic jar next to him. Of course, this one's more auditory. I love the fact that when characters get together, they actually sing in groups. It's something you'll see solo and you'll see in group. And it's just a little added bit that really reflects that group dynamic of people out in the fields working. And I think is a good reflection of Black Flag and the other games, wherever any of the characters ended up singing while they were on board a vessel. And here's one more audio one. Listen to the difference between these two animals. Well, uh I just love here how they modeled the difference between a horse and a camel. As most people know, camels are much quieter than horses due to the way that their hooves are made. And it's very cool that you actually hear that modeled here. And moving on, I really like the fact that you have a Maximus from Gladiator moment whenever you're walking through any kind of flower where you put your arm down and sort of run your hand along it. And of course, that brings us to the last one, and that is cats. Now, we know that you can pet cats and you can tame cats. But one of the things I found, and it's bore out multiple times as I've been testing this, if you wear the armor with the cat head, you actually see more of them. Now, is this true? Is it not? I don't know. I'm going to continue testing this. But one of the things I noticed is if I put this armor on, almost instantly, I would actually notice in the background a cat coming or running towards me. And two or three or four would collect versus maybe just one or two if I didn't. It's odd. It's something that I'm going to continue to check. And I just sort of like the idea of that actually happening. But I'm not 100% sure on this one. And I'll continue to check as I make this walk in the walk. So I want to say thanks for watching. If you have weird little things you've noticed in Origins, little details, I would love to hear them. Post them in the comments. Maybe I'll talk about them during the next walk in the walk that I do, which will be this game. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. Maybe check out Twitter or become a patron at Patreon. One of the things about being a patron is it continues to allow me to make videos that aren't two minutes long or filled with sponsored bullcrap. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your week.